This is the real Tom Rose, and we're going to solve a geometry problem that uses angles and triangles. And there's some really interesting twists in this problem. So first of all, they tell us the triangle is isosceles right. Now this probably should have been indicated on the drawing, but we'll need to assume that this corner is the right angle. It's the only angle that's, that's even relatively close, so it's a fairly safe assumption. And if this is isosceles, um, and this is a right angle, what that'll mean is that these two sides have the same length. And if that's the case, we're actually dealing with a special triangle because one of the rules of isosceles triangles is that um, the angles opposite the lengths that are the same must have the same measure. So I just drew in two sides that have the same length and the opposite angles will also have the same measure. Um, let's name this angle Z. And we can use a rule of triangles, which is the sum of all the angles is 180. So 180 must equal Z plus Z plus 90. And if we subtract 90 from both sides, we'll know 90 is equal to 2z. Divide both sides by 2, and 45 is equal to z. So z is 45 degrees, which means this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And if you spotted that sooner, awesome. You can save a bunch of time on this problem by, by spotting little things like this without having to do the math out. Okay, well, we know each one of these angles is the same because they're all labeled with an X. So I'm going to put the same single arc on them to indicate that they're all the same. But we know the measure of that angle is 45. So we can solve for the value of x. x plus x plus x equals 45. 3x must equal 45, therefore. And if we divide both sides by 3, you'll notice that x must equal 15. So if x is 15 and z is 45, now we should be able to calculate y using the same rule that we did before, which is the sum of angles in triangle must equal 180. So I'm going to do the triangle on the right here, which has a measure of 15 plus 45 plus y, that must equal 180. And if we subtract 15 and 45 from both sides, we'll see that y is equal to 120, which will be answer choice D.